Hey folks, it is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, version point F, where we just butchered a gigantic moose, so we should have meat for days, and this time we actually have a freezer in our vehicle. So I'm hoping the meat won't go bad in a day like it normally does. I'm hoping that we can actually eat this stuff for a good long time. Because meat really opens up some good food. Yes, yeah, so we can can it and pickle it and stuff. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Let's give ourselves a nice glazed tenderloin meal here. It comes with three portions, so let's just make one. Um, syrup and vegetable oil and soy sauce in the hot plate. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. 500 calories plus three quench and 18 joy. That's a real meal. I don't want to hear you complaining about anything ever again, my character. All right, we need to burn something. Hoping that this bush here is ignitable. Toss the stuff I don't want on here. Activate. There we go. Now we're nice and content. Of course, now the no freeze mod actually might come back to bite me. <laughs> we might want to restart the game and turn that mod off. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. I don't, it might just take a while for the stuff to freeze. It might not actually freeze. But yeah, let's go turn that mod off. I guess I can show you how to do that. So let's click save and exit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here we are at the game launcher. Gonna go back to mods. On the left side here, we have the installed ones, and on the right is the uh, uninstalled ones, or things that are just available to you. Because I see some stuff that we already have on in here, but we're going to we're just gonna delete it. I think not just disable it. Take the mod, please. Just that one. We don't want to mess with anything else. And okay, so we're back in. I don't know if the stuff is going to freeze, but there we go. We have it turned off. It gave me another error. I was kind of expecting no error since it was causing errors before to have it on. So who knows what's going to happen, but uh could be that we're going to actually pay the iron price now for uh, turning freezing off when we did, because now we kind of want stuff to freeze and uh, it might not freeze. Anyway, let's see where we're at here. We've got just a farmhouse. I don't really expect to find anything here. Can take a look though, I suppose. Just kind of hope to find books. There usually tends to be cooking books in these farmhouses at least, but we might already have every cooking book. Aspirin. Ultralight battery. Hey, Susina Italiana. I'm surprised we haven't found that yet. That's usually one you find pretty quickly. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. Character probably prefers that we did do that anyway. Animal cooking oil, good stuff. Not to be confused with... Lamp oil! Okay. Take a look at Susina Italiana. Should have recipes in there. Good stuff. All right, we 
we still need to do some sorting of the stuff though actually not sure if like these sealed anything sealed is probably actually like not gonna go bad even though it's like up on the top of the list of things to go bad because things are sorted by shelf life but it doesn't account for let's see it says spoils in some of it says about one day but it's also sealed fresh so I think this only I think this only matters once it's opened. This seems redundant though. Spoils in and shelf life are the same thing. So I'm not sure why that's even there. But we're looking for stuff that isn't sealed fresh, like this compot, pudding, the pickles, the pine nuts. Assuming the acorns. Assuming all these crackers and stuff like that. Chili pepper. So hard. Uh, it's not easy to do anymore, man. Oh, it's already full. Okay. All good things must come to an end. But it's mostly just full of meat. But I think, I think all of these are... These MRE bags are fine for sure, right? They're sealed. Though it says they'll go bad first, I believe it's lying to us. There's still some pickles in there, apparently. I mean, that doesn't make sense. We just grab those, don't we? That filter pine pine nuts. These are glass jars, but they're not sealed. All these cookies and crackers and cereal. Cookies. Those are vacuum sealed. What else have we got? Doesn't make sense. We just took everything out of there. Are they still like pre-packaged in the dang MREs? I'm sure they are. <sighs> they need a better way to do this, man. Okay, cereal. Cat food, marshmallows, sugary sheep, cereal. I think we're probably fine. Most of this is just stuff is inside of MREs, but it's still in our list, which is making things annoying. All right. Moving on. We are well fed. We're happy. 
but our gas is becoming so that's a huge farm field. It's one huge farm field. I do hope that they make it so we can build like functional bases in the future rather than like relying on like mini freezes, mini freezers and RVs. It feels like everything is here to do it. It's just like not on. You should be able to build houses in this game like you can build vehicles. Where you attach stuff to tiles and all that stuff. I think they got rid of the construction skill. Oh, maybe that's why. Mm, yep, they took out construction as its own skill. Tell, start heading to Nelson here. There should be more cars in there to poach. Guess I didn't get all the. Guess I didn't loot all the gas out of the cars in the last town we were at. Oh, we should go to the silo. Hope that there's no. No Migos there. Driving. No Migo. No Migo. Get me a good view of the world here. And then something here is very tall and in my way. There we go. There we go. Now I can see some stuff. It's an office building, huh? Skate park, actually. Huh? Well, maybe there's an office building here. Who knows? What have we got? Construction site, open sewer. Light industry, what the heck? I don't know what light industry is in this game. A hospital. Be pretty sure that there's an autoclave in the hospital, but <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long fight. You would rather find a doctor's office. But it may not be in the cards for us. What's this? A shooting range. Ooh, there might be a lot of guns over there. We should probably check out that shooting range first. If it just has a bunch of ammo or anything, that would help. Okay. Going on out here. Oh, it's just a dead body. It's just that the dead bodies can get back up now. There's not many vehicles on the roads. They must have lowered the number of vehicles that spawn on the roads outside of cities now. There's one. I don't know how much gas we'll find in this, but. Worth a peek. Four percent. Ouch. All right, we need. Our, not our funnel. You used to need a funnel, but does it seem like you need the funnel anymore? We need the jerry can. This is why I didn't really want to put more stuff in this container. And the rubber, rubber hose, but I'm not seeing it. Gonna do it the hard way. There we go. 
Okay. Siphon. Nope. Siphon. Gas tank. Container. Jerry can. I should have parked this one table. One space closer so I wouldn't have to bother with that, you know. Go. Steady it. 50%. Not where I want to be, though. All right. The shooting range. Let's have a look here. I don't think minefields spawn in this game like they used to either. Okay, just a lot of casings, it seems like. I was just thinking the minefields, because minefields used to look like this. Or there's like some signs and like dirt terrain. That might be your operational ammo on that counter there. Let's see your plug there. Yeah, a bit of nine mil nine millimeter doesn't hurt. I think this is mostly just a way to get a lot of casings, huh? Oops, stop hauling. Got a gun safe here. Hey, we got it open. The SIG 552. I'll have to compare that to our IAR that we got. All right, let's screw all the casings. There we go. All right, I guess we should just do that comparison now. IAR. The SIG. Oops, not exactly fair because the IAR is upgraded. The range of damage is higher on the SIG. It takes less strength to use. Has semi auto, auto, and three round. Integrated folding stock. I don't know if we want that because we like the to have the upgrade upgraded stock. Oh, it has more recoil though. Yeah, I don't think. Don't think we want to use that, but just going to leave you here. Someone else can have fun with you. All right. Drop the ammo and casing and ah. all right. Awesome. Okay. The way station. There's a military surplus here. That could be valuable if they can spawn power armor anymore. I don't know if they can. Oh, I hit a turkey apparently. Didn't even notice. Curious what the industrial is, but also doesn't seem like it would be that useful to us. 
thing is mega buildings like the hospitals in these games are very hard to deal with. All right. Slow to a stop. Got our bow. Hello, Shaker Zombie. Get body. Keep it at normal zoom level for now since we're shooting. Yeah, it seems like these are fine, even though they're uh they're better against hard targets than Well, they're not the broadheads, I should say. Yeah, I don't see any problem zombies yet. They're kind of quick. Listener zombie. Yeah, he got distracted by the other zombies. That's funny. Because when the other zombies move, sometimes they hit the ground. Pew pew. Pew pew. See anything good there? Ooh, shocker zombie, okay. By the time he comes in range of our bow, he's probably going to be on us. Just going to switch to the pole axe real quick. Oof. Yeah, shockers. Oh my god, we're almost dead. What the fuck? What the hell? Um, run. The frick did that happen? Holy cow. Just got obliterated by that shocker zombie. I told you they were tough, but... Dang, the last time we fought them, it didn't suck that bad. Maybe it's just because we still have this weakness or whatever. Oh, holy balls. He nearly one shot us, dude. Run. Just run. Yeah, spend a few days recovering now all of a sudden. I think we're wearing chain mail, man. Not really. Processing. You go all the way back to that. Damn. All we really need is just to park by some water or something. This little building here, I guess. Severe pain. Holy cow. I need a sniper rifle so I can take out uh, shocker zombies from a distance. We left our bow behind, by the way. We'll just stay here. This is fine. All right. Well... Take forever to figure out. It's too much stuff, man. Wait, where's all my stuff? Oh, my backpack! We have to have the backpack, man. Everything's in the backpack. Well, we're all out of time for this video anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, 
Remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.